Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about Twinmotion and where to download and install the program. We are also going to check out the navigation and the location of tools inside Twinmotion. Let's get started. Twinmotion provides a real-time immersive 3D architecture visualization and can easily produce high-quality image, panorama, and 3D VR videos in seconds. What I experienced in Twinmotion is that it's easy to learn and you can literally play around with your models and add high-quality materials right away. To install Twinmotion, you just need to type Twinmotion to your Google search. I will also put a link down in the description. Click Get Started Now. And then for educators and students, you can click here or you can click Free Trial. And as you can see here, try latest features on your non commercial project with no strings attached for as long as you need it for free. So once you click that, it will ask you to sign in for an Epic Games account. You will need that Epic Games account in order to log in. So once you set up your account and sign in, it will show you the user license agreement. You just need to click both of them and accept. Next thing that you need to do is install the launcher. So once you install the launcher, I'm just going to click open launcher as I have the launcher installed already. So once you finish installing the launcher, it will look like this. You just need to in click the install. But before that, um, there's two new version and 2020.2 is the most current. So just click install and Twinmotion will be installed in your computer. Also, you can download the plugins. So here, there's five different direct links plugin for Twinmotion. We have it for ArchiCAD. Revit, SketchUp Pro, Rhino, and RigCAD. So I use mostly Revit, so you can click download right here. I will also, the link down in the description for this. So once you download and install everything, um, in Revit, the Twinmotion plugin will be before modify. And as you can see, you just need to click this C in Twinmotion. And if you have a model here, it will directly uh, forward or import that to Twinmotion. Also, I have a Twinmotion um, already open here. And the toolbars or all the stuff that you need to know is mostly there's there's a triangle here where you can see all the libraries like materials objects you can also create your user library and you can add vegetation grass trees those kind of stuff and lighting and characters and tools on the right side this is where all of your objects will be coming in. So you will see all of that similar to Photoshop, the layer tabs. Also down here is the statistics. Here it will uh, show you your frames per second and, and how your computer is holding up. Because usually, um, if you have a lot of objects, 
here in Twin Motion, it will slow your computer and you will be able to know what's going on in your computer right here. Down here is where you can import more stuff like 3D um, warehouse objects from SketchUp. You can also import that here. You can also import Revit files. Most of the time, um, it could open up FBX, OBJ files, and those kind of stuff. Down here, the contacts, you can create paths for vehicles, people. You can um, paint your surroundings. So once you put your vegetation, your grass, and those kind of stuff, you can manipulate the grounds. Also, a vegetation scatter where you can instantly put a lot of different kinds of trees instantly and then you have urban next you have the settings so you can set different location the weather lightings and camera and here the media is where you're gonna set up the image panorama, video, and presenter. And lastly, the export. So once you set up your image and everything, you will need to click here and it will show how many image you set up and which one you can select or deselect and then start exporting it. I will add an object just to show you how to navigate here into Motion. I'm just going to put a simple chair. So here, you, you just need to drag and drop. To zoom in and zoom out, you need to scroll up and down. Click Q and E to go up and down. If you hold Shift, and move your mouse, you can orbit around that object. You can also use WASD, W for forward, backward for S, and left and right for A and D. Also, when you still have your object selected, you can click tab, in order to change from move, rotation, and scale. So in move, you can move it from left to right or up and down. And once you click tab, you can change the rotation And also, once you hit a, a, the tab again, you can change the scale. So you, you can make it bigger or smaller depending on what you want. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.